episode 2 experimental determination of molar mass of magnesium using molar volume of hydrogen gas for chemical reactions involving gases gas volume measurements provide a convenient means of determining stoichiometric relationships hydrogen gas is evolved when certain metals are reacting with acid in this experiment Amount of hydrogen gas produced in reaction of magnesium with diluted hydrochloric acid is used to calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. Hydrogen gas evolved in this reaction is collected in a long, thin, graduated glass tube using a burette by displacement of water. Since stoichiometry between magnesium and hydrogen gas is 1 is to 1, we can calculate the amount of magnesium in moles reacted with HCl. Materials needed A burette, 1 litre beaker, burette stand, thermometer, barometer, magnesium strip, 2 moles per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid, cotton wool, wash bottle, electronic scale, funnel. Prior to the experiment, glassware are cleaned properly. First, cut a piece of magnesium strip, clean it properly to remove its oxide layer and weigh it using the electronic scale. Then, wrap the magnesium strip in a thin layer of cotton wool. Pour 5 cubic centimeters of 2 moles per cubic decimeter HCl solution into the bottom of the burette. Pour water gently on top of HCl carefully without mixing and add water so that the burette is completely filled with the liquid. Fix the strip of magnesium wrapped in cotton wool to the open end of the burette. Then, invert the burette quickly and place the end under water in the 1 litre beaker filled with water. Clamp the burette on the stand. Then, measure the temperature in which the reaction takes place. The reaction starts with the diffusion of HCl to the metal and the gas is captured in the inverted cylinder. The experiment is repeated three times in order to get accurate measurements. Calculations Use the ideal gas equation to calculate the amount of moles of hydrogen that was produced in the experiment. Make sure to use the correct units so that they match the units in the gas constant. Then, use stoichiometry between magnesium and hydrogen gas to find the amount of moles of magnesium. Then, calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium in grams per mole.